Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. My name is Albert Baldio. I'm the elected district leader of this community, of which Ryan is such a distinguished part of. And I came here on behalf of our community in Richmond and Fall Little Guyana to pay our respects and our tribute to him. I know that Ryan has died very young and has left a young, small son. And it was very gripping when I heard, uh, read about this on Ken's show. Ken is a personal friend of his. He's always supported Ken and he's always make sure that he gave us good ideas on the shows. I've often been a guest of uh, Ken Rappersall's show. But Ryan always would inbox and send messages and encourage us as we grow and make sure that he can bring ideas to us if we continue to fight for our community. There was a time when we used to be under surveillance because we are Muslims and because of who we are, and wrongly so. These are all injustices that he's helped. The part that I know of him as a fighter and as a person who cares about his community. And that is one of his legacies. The thing about Ryan is that a man's life is not measured by the length of years he spends on his earth, but it is measured by the things he has done, the good and wonderful things he has left behind. The philosophy is imparted, the example he has set, and in that light he has left a very rich and powerful life for all of us to emulate. Not only because he's one of the few pilots that we've ever produced, but he always had a loving humanitarian heart that cared about other people. And that is a very rare gift and a rare quality that he has. I want to compliment his parents who I've seen here tonight and who I spoke to. And I thank you very much for bringing such a wonderful son and his sister his, and his brothers. You all have done a wonderful, very wonderful job for this community. And I want to tell you that Ryan is not gone. He is merely gone to another dimension in life. One where Allah has seen his fit to call him to higher service. And to Allah be the glory, to, to his name and to his works, we have to accept the will of Allah. Sometimes we often wonder why things go like this. Why we have to suffer so much pain and tribulations. And I myself in my own life has had that experience, many of you. But the thing is that you've got to rise and gain strength from God. That God's, God knows fit and he knows the best for us. And when he does that, he does it for a purpose. He does it for a bigger imagination and a bigger fulfillment that he himself knows. And that is the glory of God and Allah that Ryan has gone to fulfill. Ryan himself would have liked to stay, handsome young man, full of life, pilot, well accomplished person, wonderful family, parents, caring brothers and sisters, and a wonderful young man who is a Facebook star. I always look and see what he's doing, his son. And I always follow him up. And he's such a character that I know God and us, or as a community, will take care of him. Now, I want to tell you this. We have a responsibility to make sure that young, that young man, what's his name again, please? Amir. Amir. Grows up a lot of love and affection, kindness, understanding. And to get togetherness of community so that he will not miss anything in life. And we as a community must come together and help him. I gave my car to the father-in-law to communicate to me if there's any legal issues or anything that we can do in the meantime. And I want to propose this, that we start a fund for that young man. We must start a fund to help him, to make sure he can grow to emulate his father, and to grow up and have all the good things in life, that he must have a good life and a full life. And we as a community must come together and care for our children like that. And that is what we have to do as a number one purpose of me coming here, telling you that we have to go for a GoFundMe. Recently, when I was driving my car, they gave up the million dollars they raised for a woman who, on a subway, uh, choked another person to death. That is for his legal defense. But look at the humanitarian cause here, a young kid who has lost his father. There is no more compelling, no more touching, no more captivating reason than that. And I want to start off the fund today by donating $200 to the family. And I ask all of you to make sure, this is not about money, but this is about care. This is about making sure that he can have a full life like all of our children, and they too can grow up to live the American dream. And in closing, on behalf of my brother, Dr. Philip Baldi and myself, I want to read a little poem that is close to like pilots. It has something to do with aeronautical flying and so forth. And it's called High Flight. And I dedicate this poem to Ryan and also to his family. 
And it was written by John Gillespie Badger Jr. And he says, Oh, I have slipped the surly bounds of earth and danced the skies in laughter silvered wings. Sunward I've climbed and joined the tumbling mirth of sun-split clouds and done a hundred things you may not have dreamed of, wheeled and soared and swung. High in a solid audience, how ring there I chased and shouted wind along and flung my eager craft through footless halls of air. Up, up, the long, delirious, burning blue. I've topped the windswept heights with easy grace, where neither lark nor ever eagle ever flew, and while with silent lifting mine I've trod the high untrespassed sanctity of space, put out my hand and touched the face of God. Now this poem takes you to the place where Ryan is gone. When you touch out, you reach out and touch the hand of God or touch the face of God, you are in a very beautiful place. You are in a place where all of us would one day hope to get to, and that is in heaven. And Ryan has gone to that place. He is in transition. And as a pilot, he will easily, somehow there's a lot of coincidence here, that here's a pilot knowing to fly the, 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 uh, the, the, the skies, but flying higher. Soaring higher, soaring higher to a better life and to a higher salvation. And we wish him well along that journey. And I know that he will shed a great light on his son. He will make sure, mom, that his son grows up with everything, grows up with faith, guidance, depth of life, longevity. And in that eternal space, he would be able to help everyone and do, do her for all of us. So, that our lives can be better and our community can be stronger. So I also weep for him and we also must regret his death. But at the same time, we will also celebrate the life. A life well lived and as God knows best, a life taken much too early. But nevertheless, a life that will be an example for all of us. Thank you very much brothers and, God, brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum. And may God bless you all, keep the faith, and let's continue to thrive as a community and continue to help this family. Thank you very much. Inshallah. Thank you very much.